Today we are making six gorgeous nail art designs using a straw. Who would have thought that a straw can work as a great nail art tool? Here I will show you six adorable and simple designs, so grab some straws and let's begin! Straws are primarily meant for drinking, but today we are going to use them for something else. No, no, no! I'll prove you that you can create many great nail art designs with the help of a straw. I made five and a bonus one, so if you're interested how, keep on watching! Nail care comes first, so protect your nails by applying a base coat. Sometimes I even apply two layers of base coat to avoid staining, especially when I'm using darker colors. This time one layer is enough, since I will apply two coats of white polish on all the nails. Ok, now on to the fun part! Time to color up these nails! For our first design, we are making gorgeous palm trees in a sunset. You need a sponge to create the sunset effect. Apply a stripe of red, then orange and lastly yellow polish. I applied more yellow compared to the other two colors, as yellow is the lightest and it could easily get overwhelmed by the two darker shades. Dab the sponge on the nail to get a lovely gradient. If you don't get the opaque result in the first try, just wait for the polish to dry and then apply another layer with the sponge. Now it's time to take your straw. Make two cuts along the straw so that its end splits in two pieces. Then cut one piece away and you're left with a great nail art tool which will help you create perfect shapes. Dip the end into black polish and make prints on the nail to get palm tree leaves. I'm making one bigger and one baby palm tree. For this one, just cut away a bit more of the straw circle, leaving about one third. Finally, cut the straw so that you only have about 2 mm of the circle left. Dip it in black and make a trunk. If you look at the palm tree trunk closely, you'll see that it's not smooth, and this is exactly the effect that you will get when drawing a line with the straw. Just looking at this design makes me so excited for summer! In the end, apply a layer of the fast drying top coat to bring the design together and add some shine. I love how warm and beautiful it looks! Makes me want to go to some beautiful tropical island right now! Next, we're making an adorable smiley design. This yellow color pops so much more with the white base under, but you just skip the white if you don't need it. Cut your straw, leaving just a couple of millimeters long edge peeking out. Dip it into the polish and dot two little parallel lines next to each other for the eyes. Now we need to give this body a big happy smile. Cut the straw leaving half of the circle, dip it in the nail polish and make a print below the eyes. And we have a perfect smiley! I will make another happy face below. This design works great as an accent nail or you can make all your nails smile. Each time you look at your hands, you'll be reminded that there's something to smile about every day. To finish off, apply a generous amount of a fast drying top coat. I think this design is so cute yet so quick and easy to make. Another easy nail art you can make using a straw is a circle design. I am first applying two layers of green. Same as with the yellow one, this green polish looks so much better on top of the white. See how bright it looks! To make perfect circles with the straw, dip one end into the polish. I find it the best to roll the straw edge in the polish like this. Since my background is bright, I'm making circles in two darker colors. It seemed impossible to make perfect circles on the nails before. Using a straw they're actually very easy and quick to make. If you dip the straw vertically straight in the polish, sometimes a bubble of the polish will form inside the straw and you won't get the perfect circle when you make a print on the nail. So it's better to roll a straw at less than 90 degree angle. This way you get perfect circles, see? When you're happy with the design, apply a top coat to finish off. I love how I can play with different colors of circles and create unique designs every time. Next is a colorful geometric design, which kind of reminds me of school. Draw a white red stripe across the upper part of your nail. Then make a parallel green stripe across the bottom part. You can use a nail polish brush like me or a striper if you have it. Inside these colored stripes, draw some X's using a straw. 
Cut away about two thirds of the straw circle so you have one third left. Dip your straw in some black polish and then make two lines, one on top of another. You can also make more than two colorful lines with axes for an even more exciting look. When you're satisfied with your work of art, apply a layer of fast drying top coat to add some shine and protection. I love how bright this design is, it really pops out because of the contrasting colors. This next design must be my favorite. We're making fluffy pom-poms. Cut the straw so that you have approximately one third of the circle left. Dip it into corally orange polish and start making a cute pom-pom shape. Straw will give you precise lines of the same size that no striper can. So just keep making stripe prints to form a fluffy ball of wool. My next pom-pom is bright green. Don't put too much polish on the straw when you're making prints. If you do, you may get a big blob on the nail instead of a precise stripe. Next is the red and finally a minty green pom-pom in the upper corner. To make the pom-poms look like they're dancing in the air, I'm drawing some small pieces of wool around each pom-pom. So just make a few orange tiny particles around the orange pom-pom, some green ones around the green pom-pom and so on. In the end apply a layer of the fast drying top coat to seal in your masterpiece. This design looks so happy, bright and fluffy, absolutely cute and adorable. And as a gift I'll show you another very simple and fun straw splatter nail art design. Dip the end of the straw in the polish, place the straw slightly above the nail and then blow through the straw. Blow as many times as you want to get interesting splatters all over the nail. I'm using three different colors for a funky result. Remove the tape, apply a top coat and you're done. I use this funky design as an accent on my ring finger but you can manicure all your nails in this way. Pretty amazing how handy a straw can be in nail art, don't you think? Please tell me in the comments which design is your favorite and I hope you'll give this cool technique a try. Please give this video some love if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome nail art designs.